mm-hmm. in the news. Kelly Jackson, 728 right. here, Big 550 KTRS. Monday was Leap Day, February 29th. Uh huh. A family in Michigan gave birth to their second child on February 29th. What's interesting about this is that it wasn't scheduled. It arrived 10 days past the due date, and the mother's labor wasn't induced. So it was a true official leap baby. However, it's also the same birthday as their other child four years earlier. (laughs) She's had two children, both born on February 29th. What are the... Four years apart. That's crazy. Yeah, how about that? Um, Let's see, moving on here. Oh, listen to this. We all know about Scott Kelly, the yes. astronaut who returned to Earth after spending one year in uh, orbit at the International Space Station. He touched down in Kazakhstan late Tuesday night. What's interesting is that Scott Kelly has an identical twin brother, mm-hmm. Mark Kelly, who's also an astronaut. Yeah, he's retired. And really. one of the main reasons for the lengthy stay was to compare the physiological effects of of the prolonged exposure to low gravity and higher than typical radiation to Scott's twin brother on Earth. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? Republican Governor Dennis Dugard of South Dakota vetoed a bill, Republican Governor vetoed a bill that would force trans- transgender students to use the locker room and the restrooms that they were assigned at birth. He wrote, to the legislature, as policymakers in South Dakota, we often recite that the best government is the government closest to the people. Local school districts can and have made necessary restroom and locker room accommodations that serve the best interest of all students. Hmm. So state government, get out of the way. Hmm. And we mentioned this yesterday. Twitter has been around 10 years. Mm-hmm. They have lost a total of $2 billion. Billion. Those are the digits in the news on the Big 550 KTRS.